Hi guys, welcome back to Michelle DR. I was doing some white watercolors, white watercolors, okay, watercolors yesterday because I needed a big stress relief and I love hummingbirds. Let me know if you like hummingbirds. So I did this and I'm finishing it up and as I'm finishing it up, I'm saying, you know, I should be sharing this with all of you. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to finish up my hummingbird with you. And I also did this one yesterday. It's just a little scenic thing. Another thing I wanted to share with you is what I got. These are Micron. Now, when I got these off Amazon, I thought <laughs> that they were pens like this. I want to show you the difference in the tips. You see, this is a number one. Let me show you a number one. And this is a number one. See the difference in the tips? I prefer this one. This one's more like a marker. So that's what, I mean, it's okay, but I prefer these. And hopefully I can get them in the right caps because that would not, yeah, that's a one. And that's a 12. So here. This is a 12. Well, I guess they're okay. Maybe I just have to get used to them. Anyways, it's something to... Actually, I might... Who knows? I don't want to jump the gun because I did jump the gun with the Artex acrylic markers. I'm grabbing them in case you're wondering what I'm doing. These. I wind up doing... I said I loved them. Well... I'm not so in love with them. I was marking what the colors look like. So in case you're curious, I would say they're good to play around with. I just did a, a little scenic. I don't know which way is best for you to see. I mean, they're okay. One thing I did notice... Some of them come out really fast, and others come out really slow. So if you get them, be careful with them. I had a few that really exploded all over the place, <laughs> so I had to go with it. This right here, pay no attention to it. It's just to clean my brush because... So I'm going to pretend... Because like I said, I didn't realize how hard it would be to paint in film is what I'm getting at. It kind of makes me a little nervous. So until I get acclimated, I guess maybe the right word is, I'm just going to pretend that I'm painting and not filming. I don't know if I want to do that or not. I do want to just bring that. And then that flower is, I want that flower to be more further apart. I hope the view is better. I'm using my front camera. This morning I realized, duh, Michelle, when you first began, you used the front camera. And then my last disaster film, which I shouldn't really even post it, but I want to show you what real life is. I mean, this is me real life doing real art. <laughs> okay. I'm using the eight round Princeton Neptune. I really have to get a good pointed 
brush. This is okay. It's not as, I don't think I was paying too much attention when I bought it. I get too excited is what it is. Let me know if you're like that. And then when I get it and use it, it's like, wait, it's losing its shape. So I try to flatten it out. I hope you can see. Yes, flatten it out. And then I use the corner of it. Sort of like this. Ever so lightly because if you press down, What's the word I'm trying to look for? Um, you won't get the same effect as what I'm trying to tell you. What I'm trying to say in my mouth. Well, happy to say party today to everyone. We have a green, a green hummingbird. <laughs> Now, like I said before, I'm not, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Good thing for watercolor, because we could do one of two things. But since I got this, and I want to do a shout out, I, uh, Allison Duart, Duart. That's how I seem to pronounce it now. It could be totally wrong. I will link her page above. I want to give a shout out to Allison Duart. It's not Duart, like do, D-O-A-R-T. Duart. Again, I'll list it because my pronunciation is probably totally wrong and I apologize for that, Allison. She loves the Crayola brushes. So uh, actually yesterday... When we went to Walmart, I bought a package, four ninety eight. Get getting them out so I could show you. And there was what one, two, three, four, five brushes. And I was experimenting with them yesterday. Actually, that's how I made this. And they're okay. My problem is I have a little hand problem, <laughs> so a couple of them went flying. But, hey, for the price. I mean, and now, like I told you before, my white is gouache. This white here is gouache. And it's very hard on brushes. So, for that reason, alone is great for gouache. Because you don't want to really use a good, good brush. Now, I'm going to apologize in advance. My father's, I believe, on his way. I'm not sure if I want to use this one. So, if he pops in while we're on here, and my Bella girl goes a little crazy, you'll know why. But hopefully, I can get this done. I think I'm going to put a little... Yellow on his wing. Just to brighten him up a little bit. And then, again, we're going to... I have my disaster here that I was playing with. I was thinking of doing... Uh, acrylic today but I wanted to finish my hummingbird up so I'm taking you along for a little ride again to get to know each other and to just play paint and play and relax that's the whole beauty of this channel Paint, play, and relax. And I may add a little music to this. I'm using an angle brush. This, this is the Crayola. 
brushes that I got at Walmart. Again, $4.95, $4.98, somewhere around that. Less than $5. <laughs> we'll go with $5 because the tax here in North Carolina is very high. But, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, that's what I'm using for my leaves. Press down and let up. Press down, drag, let up. Now you can make different types of leaves. Do it twice. So press, drag, let up. Press, drag, let up and kind of scoop. And then you could do like that. At least that's how, I mean, I'm sure there's several ways could do the leaves. I'm not that great at leaves, but I'm not making a fine art here. I'm just playing, trying to relax because I had a very, having a very stressful week, month, <laughs> and art saves me from being so in my head. Maybe I should say. Okay. One thing I have noticed with these Crayola brushes, I wouldn't press too hard, especially if you have a child that's using. <laughs> 